Hey everybody, this is Oliver and you're watching a brief tutorial on how to create something like this, which is called Image Hotspots in H5P. But before we have a look at how we create something like this, um, let's have a look at some real world examples first. This example is taken from an online course about Danish and German history. And down here we have the Image Hotspot. So maybe we can go to full screen. And we can see a map which shows some information about the results of a referendum where people had to decide whether they want to be Danes or Germans. And yeah, as you expect, you can click on the hotspots and the results pop up and some information pops up. Yeah, pretty basic use. And um, I have one more example which might be more interesting for you. So let's have a look at that. This is it. And I think it is a pretty inventive use of image hotspots in H5P, and it was actually created by a colleague of mine called Anja Lorenz. Um, she had to give a talk at a conference, and she thought, maybe I can do something a little different today. And she came up with this. But of course, we should go to full screen first. And this may remind you of Jeopardy, the game show, and you're absolutely right. So Anja said, I have so much to talk about, but we don't have the time, so why don't you choose what you're interested in, maybe OER, which is short for Open Educational Resources, and then you just give me a number, maybe 100, and um, yeah, so you would say OER 100, and I would say, okay, let's look what's behind that, and she will click on that hotspot, and in this case, a window would pop up, which contains a short video. Um, yeah, I guess she just played it and explained it a little bit afterwards. Um, so when that was done, people could say, okay, now let's say OER oh, 300, maybe. And um, yeah, this is about H5P. And I guess she explained how we use it on our platform. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. It's pretty inventive, as I said. Um, yeah, but let's head back and see how we can create something like that. And we're back at H5P.org. So on top, you can log into your account over here. And there you have a button which is labeled create new content. And if you click on that, the H5P hub opens where you can choose the uh, type of content that you want to create. In our case, it's image hotspots. We use that one. And we can give it a title and I'll call it cat and dog. Typically, you start with adding a background image, which is this button here. And I have an image of a cat and a dog. Luckily, so we can add that. And you should always fill out this field because it's used by blind people or the screen readers that blind people use, which tells them what the um, image shows. So we, we can add a little description here. And then we can choose a hotspot color. Um, yeah, maybe we could use something bluish. Let's take that. And then we can start to add our content. Um, so you can click on the center of the dock, for example, and say, okay, um, I want my, my hotspot there. And yeah, let's give it a title. Let's call it dog. And then we can add our content and we can choose between text, video, and images. Um, yeah, let's start with the, with the brief text. And when we have our text, we can also add something else. Maybe, um, maybe we want an image. And of course, I have one of a dog as well over here. I chose Husky because I like them. And again, you should fill out this um, alternative text field so uh, blind people know what the image is showing. So let's do that. OK, this one's similar. This is um, the hover text, which uh, you know, when you hover over an item, it may, it may show um, what's inside. Uh, let's skip that. Uh, we'll choose another hotspot. Um, and of course, we now want to do one for the cat. So we click on the cat, or yeah, maybe we want to put it on the nose of the cat. Um, and we can give the header again. And we can decide that in this case, the hotspot should cover, or not the hotspot, but the window that pops up when the hotspot is clicked should cover the entire background image. So um, let's check that one. And uh, now we add a video and 
Um, of course, I prepared. You know, I chose the video up front. And um, this would you know, let's let's have a look what this video shows. Um, you have some more options that you can configure. Um, this is about the uh, video player, um, how it looks, and here you can choose if the uh, video should uh, autoplay or and loop. Um, yeah, accessibility might be interesting uh, because you can add um, captions if you like to, but the YouTube video might have them. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have a look at it, Charlie. But let's. Um, save our creation and take a look that will be created that is our content type our image hotspot so let's go to full screen which is always nicer and if we click here we should see this one uh, as we typed it in doc as the header this is the doc as text description and below the image of the house key and if we click here we'll get our video and um, as we um, wanted it, it's covering the whole screen. So yeah, let's have a look at the cats maybe for a brief period at least. Okay, um, cats are nice. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and if you did, have a look at my channel where you can find more videos about H5P. Um, yeah, well, what's left to say? Enjoy H5P, take care, bye bye.